prepping for your listing photos and videos. First off, on the outside, curb appeal is everything. So something that I always recommend to my sellers before we even get the photos and photography done is to power wash the outside of the house. Even the roof. If you have tile roofs sometimes that mildew um, and humidity can build up on there so it's good to have it as a fresh look. And then fresh mulch. If you have mulch um, or curbing around your property with landscaping, having that all trimmed up can really help with your curb appeal. Fresh flowers. If you have some flowers uh, in pots that are outside the garage or by the front door, can really add some color and pizzazz to your listing. Kitchens and baths. This is what sells homes. People love to see the layout and they love to see the true feel of what a kitchen and bath in a home um, is, especially in the master suite and in the center of the home. So if you have any pantries or linen closets, make sure those are organized because in our 3D tours, we do open those so that people can really get a, feel, a true feel for the home. Decluttering your countertops. Nobody likes to see your makeup brushes or your towels or anything on the counter. So declutter all of those. Coffee maker's fine. A couple odds and ends is good as long as they're nice looking pieces that match the home. But for the most part, make sure your countertops are clean and uh, decluttered. And then also towels and bathrooms. If you have some decorative towels, it's okay. Make sure that they don't have lots of patterns on them. And then any that are hanging on hooks from the morning of, put those in the laundry so that we don't have those showing in photos either. Kids, toys, clutter, tchotchkes. This is a big one that we always get questions on. So having kids is hard when you're selling a home. Just living in a home and selling it is hard. So we, we want to walk you through this process as best as possible and make sure that your home is showing to its true light and it's not being clouded by how you live in your home for that potential buyer who might make it their new home. So in kids rooms, if you can just organize the toys into buckets and bins really helps a lot. Going to Bed Bath & Beyond, Ikea, they have great options so that you can organize their bedrooms. Um, any toys or Legos or things that are there, if we can put them in the closet for photos just to make the room get its true feel of the size, that is best as well. Now, um, toy rooms, this is what it is, especially even in offices, it is what it is. Declutter it as much as possible, use bins, use cabinets, those really help a lot. Putting things into some drawers, we can definitely do that for photos because it's not going to show in those. Clutters, so when you have things on shelves that are cluttering the look of the home, it's a huge turnoff. People can't visualize their own things in that home. So make sure you're putting some of those away. Put them in boxes. I always tell everybody, put them in the garage. Put it in storage, whatever it may be. But garages, people don't really pay much attention to. So if you need to pack some things up and put them in a garage, go for it. Personal photos, it's really hard because you want to keep looking at that wedding photo or that photo of your child eight years ago when they are a baby. I get it. Um, but if we can take those down and fill it with something else or just take it down and make it a blank wall, that's best too, so that people can really visualize having their own things in the home and not be distracted by your own personal photos. So this is another big one, is pets. We all love pets. Most of our team has pets, dogs, cats, whatever it may be. So it can cloud some buyer's judgment though when they're going through your home. So what I usually suggest is for all showings and for photos, we take all the pets out of the home. Kennels, if we can put them in the garage or if you can compact them down and throw it, throw it into a closet, that's best as well. Food bowls, water bowls, shove them underneath the kitchen sink, not a big deal, it's hidden, nobody will see it. Um, and then just make sure that you have it cleaned the day before showings and the day before photography so that we can make sure that there's no little fuzzies or hairs or anything floating around from their dander or from their fur falling out.